on the surface you're gonna have black ice and it may be covered with snow. Don't be fooled that, oh, it's just a dusting, I can drive over it, there may be ice under that. Well, a warning from Kansas City's Public Works Department tonight, entering its highest level of response from the Snow Command Center. Their strong recommendation for you, stay off the roads tomorrow with ice being a major concern. Now tonight, crews continue pre-treatment of city roads using salt, brine, and other methods. Anything to give them an edge on the freeze that is expected. We have team coverage tonight on the incoming storm out on the streets. Jonathan Ketz has been following the story in Kansas City, Kansas. But first, on the Missouri side with Jacob Kittlesad, live from Kansas City's Traffic Engineering Division, as drivers get refills for those pre-treatments. Jake? Well, that's right, John. And the city says that they have 40,000 tons of salt stockpiled, as well as 50 new vehicles added to their snow removal fleet, retrofitting existing city vehicles with a few plows out front. Dry and dusty, this salt hits the roadways ahead of the storm. Roadways like Antioch and Vivian, the location of Takan Madre. Our very special item is the quesadilla. It's a food truck expecting to close Thursday because of the weather. Everything yeah. gets cold and frozen, yeah. especially the vegetables. With the cold weather, what, what do you do to make it easier? We give the customers the buzzer. Uh -huh. So as soon as the customers, uh, the, the order is ready, we give them this and we start beeping it. Yeah. So the customers come back so they don't have to stay in the cold all day. Yeah. But even heading out for a drive tomorrow, KCMO Public Works is recommending against it. Michael Shaw, affectionately known as the Trash Man, is the director of Public Works. So, so do you prefer snow or trash? What's the trash. <laughs> trash easily. We can pick it up and go. Snow is tough. The city will track their vehicles by GPS using this computer system to make sure they can be hitting everywhere as best they can. But ice remains a concern even going into the weekend. Even though the snow may not be significantly high, but just the constant blowing of the snow, we're going to be plowing the streets. The snow is going to get back on the streets because obviously we're not plowing grass. So the, the, the snow from those grassy areas is going to end up back on the streets. That's basically what it is. At the food truck, the weather means the trailer will stay put and there's no plans for holiday travel. Oh, no, no, not this year. Hopefully next year. My kids love it. A little one, yeah, she wants a uh, white Christmas. And the KCMO snow removal fleet has about 290 vehicles. They're planning on working 24 hours a day across multiple shifts. And yes, other municipalities are bracing for this as well, including on the Kansas side. So I'll toss things over to Fox 4's Jonathan Ketz with more details over there. Hey, John. Hi there, Jacob. Good evening, everybody. Yes, here in KCK in the Unified Government of Wyandotte County Public Works Building, crews will start to get in at 730 tonight, and that is the same situation for south of us in Overland Park. For 12 hours, we'll have about 25 team members on, 25 plows on the street. When it's time for them to get home, get some good rest, the next crew comes in, another 25 folks, and they work their 12 hours, and it just keeps rotating until everything's back to normal. Dave Reno is the public information officer for Wyandotte County and KCK. The group has issued a snow and parking emergency that starts at 10 Wednesday night. He says if you have to be outside on Thursday, having chains on your car may be a good idea. If your vehicle does become stalled, there's a chance that you could be towed in order to make room for emergency vehicles. Also in a snow emergency, absolutely no parking on snow emergency routes. They'll be in tonight at 730. Overland Park is not issuing a snow emergency, but media relations manager Meg Ralph says workers will be at the public works facilities making sure everything is running smoothly. For the most part, drivers out in trucks. Yep, we've got 25 to 30 drivers kind of on every shift. Um, some of them will be doubled up in trucks to train and make sure that everything is running smoothly, but some of our more veteran drivers are on their own for the shift. One thing public works crews will have to monitor tonight is what type of substance to use out on the streets. The salt in this dome may not work as well, so crews may go to a salt and sand mix, or they may just put down regular sand to give drivers traction, but that will not melt the ice. So the snow emergency here in KCK lasts until 1159 on Friday night. So if you live in Wyandotte County, make sure you have your car removed from a posted snow route for the next two days. John, Jonathan Ketz in Kansas City, Kansas. John, thanks.